Welcome to the Made For More podcast. This is a space where we have a conversation and discuss some of the things that we are journeying through at the moment. Why not join with us? Why not walk with us on this journey? And let us know what you think. If you want to know more about us, check out our social media. Or if you want to know more, look at our website. Hi everyone and welcome to our first Made For More podcast. We are delighted to have you on this journey with us. We are basically just bringing you into our lives um, of what it, what it's like for us, how we have journeyed some of these things. Um, we're looking at mental health um, across the podcast and for anyone who's been on our social media, you will know these packs. We have launched them. Uh, we launched them on Friday and uh, they've been really, they're really, really good resource if you work with young people, if you are a young person or you work with young people in any way basically what we've done is we've had over the work we do in schools in churches universities we have had a lot of young people a lot of students and a lot of people who work with them asking the same question what is going on with me what has happened over the past couple of years and how can I get help so that's why we've come up with that resource so please check those out go onto our website but out of that as well we've decided to birth this this podcast which we're really excited about because we've been on our own journeys um, with mental health with mental illness um, and we just want to kind of share we want to just open the conversation um, so and just let you dive into where we're at but it's important to note that this is not a medical podcast Jamie is definitely not a medical professional nope. I am definitely not a medical professional so this is an educational podcast it's a discussion between us and um, but please if you're really struggling see your GP don't don't focus on this podcast for that yeah and as we launch this podcast it's January so it's that it's that whole mindset of you know mm. new year new me and we all start off the new year, yeah. we get so excited because we think, here, I'm going to do amazing things this year. I'm going to have my New Year's resolutions. Let's go. But we almost think magically, yeah. oh, it's a new year, so I'm a completely I'm different person. Different. Yeah. And it's like this ridiculous mindset that a new day, everything will be better. Yeah. But as we actually launched this podcast, it's the 17th of January, which is actually known as blue monday saddest day saddest day of the year when people actually find themselves being more depressed than any other day of the year and you might be thinking why why would it be like that well the reality is (laughs) why not why yeah why not (laughs) that's the question i'm asking (laughs) because you know what the christmas festivities are gone right they are a distant memory all of a sudden money is tight right and you're just desperately hanging in there to the next payday yeah. outside is wet it's miserable it's dark when you wake up it's dark when you go to bed and basically we're all just feeling this weight of just yeah. feeling down Heavy. and you know yeah absolutely yeah. and i actually started thinking to myself you know what it's maybe not even just blue monday mm. when i look back over the last couple of years i think a lot of us would agree that it's been like a blue two years. Yeah, literally you know? two years of feeling that. I don't know that Blue Monday would be a, as much of a thing this year. It's kind of like, is it like every other day? Is it for so many of us? Is it just like every other day that we've been facing for the past two years? Absolutely. Because when you look back over the last two years with the pandemic and everything that's going yeah. on, people are, they're lonely. People are struggling with their anxiety. People feel more depressed, more detached. There's a lot of financial issues. And everything just feels completely out of control. Yeah. And this sort of idea of, of the unknown yeah, just really absolutely. weighs heavily on us. Totally. But that doesn't mean that we need to look forward to the the next year and yeah. think it's just going to be the same, does it? Totally. No, and I think there's a there's a sense where we need to be not so hard on ourselves. I think, yeah. you know, whenever we have anxiety in our body or a lot of um, ways that we struggle with mental Ill health, it's because, especially anxiety, I suppose, it's because we see a threat coming in on our body. So whenever we see some sort of a threat, like if I was in the park and I saw a dog running towards me, you know, my adrenaline kicks in, my anxiety heightens, and I go into that fight or flight mode, which all of us do. Um, but that's what anxiety is for in our body. It's for short term, but actually what we've seen is there's nearly been a threat on our bodies for like two years so we have been living at this intense form of like anxiety fear not knowing like the unknown like completely for two years yeah. now and that weighs in on us like every that time weighs you, our body every time you look at the news every time you uh, read some on social media it's yeah. like once again you're reminded totally. fear be scared yeah. everything is is basically going to be awful yeah. and it just you spiral don't you yeah you're having a good day and then suddenly you sw- swipe up something oh well suddenly we're now going into another lockdown there's so many cases of covid suddenly more people are isolating your best friend who you've just seen for coffee has now got covid now you might have to isolate like it just seems like this unending 
like saga and almost in our minds it's like when will this end like our our adrenaline our anxiety in our bodies normally that would go up and normally go down is just at this this heightened level and and that's unsustainable let's be realistic that's 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 not able we're not able to cope with that we weren't our bodies were not designed to cope in that way so for for me what I just wanted to do to kind of look at in this first podcast was this thing that's really helped me um, and it's the circle of control I don't know about you but I know you are. Go into this mode of like catastrophizing, right? So thinking of everything that could go wrong in a situation. So in like with, with one thing that would happen, suddenly, you know, I meet a friend and they've maybe tested positive for COVID. Suddenly where my mind goes is, well, I've not got COVID. And now I've seen my mum, so I've given my mum COVID. I've just killed my mum. Like I've now got, or I'll not, I will not be able to take care of my child. Well, what's going to happen to my child? If I get sick and my husband gets sick, where do we go from there? And suddenly, and the reality is how many times has that happened to me in the past two years? And I haven't got COVID. It hasn't ended that way. But yet, why does my mind still go there? And that's just one scenario. It can be multiple scenarios for you. But what's really helped me, and uh, with our packs, we've launched these resources inside. Uh, there's a link to our website our support page and there's printable pdf downloads on that and it's this thing that you're looking for called the circle of control and the link's going to come up for that now we would love you to go into that um, and just as i'm talking you through this exercise you can just do this for yourself so what you're going to see here is there's two circles there's the outer circle and there's the inner circle the circles generally represent a situation in your life okay so any type of situation that you could have in your life the outer circle there are the things that you can't control so very often we go into catastrophizing like i can't control anything everything's out of control I don't have anything to do here. I can't I can't make change at all. Everything is out of my hands. But actually, as you look into that inner circle, what it what it shows you in every situation that you're in, there's something that you can control. There's something that you can do about it, okay? So for example, if I was to go on an airplane, so if I was going on a journey, if I was going on holiday, which already causes me a lot of anxiety, I'm going to be honest, but if I was going to go on the plane, um, there's things that are out of my control. I don't get to choose who the pilot is. I don't get to choose a lot of the time. I don't get to choose who sits beside me. But what I do get to decide is well, am I actually going to go into it in a calm way? Am I going to prepare myself? Am I going to have podcasts downloaded that I know are going to help me? I get to decide that I'm not going to watch a scary movie about a plane crash the night before I go. So there's all the things. Am I going to bring sweets that are going to help me? Am I going to actually bring a nice pillow that I can maybe help me get to sleep? So in every situation that seems scary and seems out of our control, actually what I would love you to do is look at that inner circle. So in the inner circle, there's always stuff that you can control. Things are not out of your control all of the time. Yeah, that's great. And, and I think for a lot of us, it's just about not thinking, you know, weeks and months ahead Absolutely. and what's it going to be like. But it's about, you know, going, let, let's just see what I can do today. Yeah. Or if you're really yeah. struggling, let's see what I can do this hour yeah. or the next 10 minutes. Totally. And breaking your, your day into segments, breaking your week into days really just helps you to take back that little bit of control yeah. and realize that it's not as bad as, as the world around us makes it seem. Absolutely. And it's this thing, like there, there's this thing known as like fixed mindset and growth mindset. So a fixed mindset might look like, you know, I can't get out of bed. Like everything's hopeless. This is never going to get better. I'm just going to be in bed forever. Whereas a growth mindset looks like I can't do it right now, but one day I will be able to. Like one day I might be able to. So then we put stuff in place to get us there. So it's shifting from I can't do it now, but that actually doesn't mean one day I could do it. That doesn't mean just where the place that I am in this moment doesn't mean I'm going to be there forever. And I think that's really, really important that we look at in this January as we start off in this bleak kind of like not just blue Monday, but blue two years that actually we kind of look at a bit of a mindset change. Like you might be sitting and your New Year's resolutions are all down the toilet and there's you're like, um, no, I'm going to... You don't have to wait till next January to change something. You can change your mindset today. And it's those small things that make such a massive impact, those small steps over time that actually get you up out of bed, that get you on the plane to be able to go um, on a journey, that get you to be able to go into a coffee shop to meet friends, that get you to be able to, to have relationships, to just go outside of your house. Like all of these things they don't just happen overnight but they're all done in small steps and you know what I would say to that as well like mm. reward yourself absolutely you know, yeah if you're saying I can't yeah. do that yet but I hope to in a few weeks or in a yeah. few months once you start to see those improvements then reward yourself buy yourself something you know yeah. give yourself a treat because I feel that that then just it motivates us doesn't it, it encourages yeah. us to be like I'm actually doing this totally, you know it's yeah. one step at a time and I want to reward myself 
Yeah. But that's been, that's been great, Sarah. Yeah. You know, this is just the first of, of many podcasts that we're going to put out there over the next coming weeks and months just to help yeah. you navigate anything that you're going through. So we help us c- navigate. Absolutely. Sometimes it might be our counseling session from us. Yeah, just, just to talk about how we're feeling. Yeah. Absolutely. So if you want to maybe watch more, then you can just click on the links around this podcast to, to find out what else is happening. Yeah. But as well as the topi- if there's topics that you would like to talk about, that you'd yeah, like to see know. us discuss, then please DM us. You can yeah. go on our Instagram, at Made For More NI, or on Facebook, and just get in touch. And we hopefully can, can navigate this and journey through it absolutely. together. Absolutely.